Hey, it's the Mid-Age Gamer Guy, and if you're anything like me, you kind of get a little perturbed when the Steam Cloud Sync goes offline. What's Steam Cloud Sync? Well, let me show you. If you have the Valve Steam Client, chances are you've got something enabled you weren't even aware of, which is the Steam Cloud Game Synchronization Service. And basically what that does is think of it kind of like an automatic Dropbox. Um, in fact, um, it works a lot like Dropbox and has the same flaws in that when it goes offline, nothing gets synchronized. Um, why is that important? Well, if you're like me and have more than one game rig, then you've probably got one, more than one installation of Steam, and you'd like to have your game saves and settings and things like that, you know, be uh, common across all of, all of your different game boxes. Well, when that doesn't happen, you kind of have to take things in your own hands. And so the way to do that is first to go into your settings of Steam, which I'll go back here, go to Steam and Settings, and the fifth tab over, mine just happened to be open because that's where I was last, but it's called uh, Downloads and Cloud, and here you'll find information about setting up, you know, how fast is your internet connection, where do you want the downloads to come from, the region, blah, blah, blah. But what we care about is right here, Steam Cloud. And if we have a little checkbox here next to the Enable Steam Cloud Synchronization for applications which support it, and that's important because not all Steam applications do. They're trying to get everything to work with this, but not everything is quite yet. But still, if that checkbox is checked, then you have Steam Cloud Sync, which is kind of fun and nice, and usually it works. Um, this is, It's also nice because things like if you have up upload screenshots or, you know, whatever, you, whatever you're sharing with everybody else from your computer to the rest of the Steam community, this is where that stuff gets stored, is in the Steam Cloud. You know, if those check marks are there, guess what? You're using it, and by default, I'm pretty much sure they are enabled. So that's where we find it, and that's where we enable it. Now, in our case, let's see. Let's see if our Steam Cloud Sync is working. Yes, it is. Now, if the Steam Cloud Sync is offline, you're not going to get all this fun stuff like, oh, look, I uploaded something here or there or everywhere. You're going to get basically just this, nothingness on the screen. When that happens, then you're going to have to basically know where you have to go to find your local copies of saved games. Now, you think, okay, well, if I go back into settings here, in the Steam settings, and I'm here at my downloads and cloud, oh, look, Steam library folders. I'll click that. And you'll see, oh, that where must be where my stuff is. No, not necessarily. This location is usually for things such as your, your game install files. When you do that backup local content for an installed game, Usually it puts it in a subdirectory of this right here. There might be some game files in there, some setting files, but generally your saved games aren't going to be in this folder. And you say, well, if they're not in here, what's the point of it? Well, the developers have some latitude. And what I'll show you next is exactly where they are in the file system. Now, I'll be working on a Windows 7 system. Um, XP is pretty much the same, um, but You'll find it nonetheless. Without further ado, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so if the files aren't in that location that the Steam client says they're in, well, you know, right here, if it's not there, where are they? Let's find out. Go ahead and minimize our, our Steam client. Okay. A lot of games, this is kind of an old convention, Microsoft really wanted people to put stuff like game folders in that in a certain location in the Windows tree, or in the, in the file tree. Of course, this is Windows 7. Where you're going to find them is going to be basically in a subdirectory of your users folder. So in my case, I'm going to put it in users, and then whatever username I logged in to Windows with, not Steam, but Windows, and then you see all this crap here. My Documents, and then go down here, My Games, and boom. These are the locations where stuff like um, your save data, your save files, um, your save game files, your video settings, your controllers and stuff, 
this is where Steam is going to save this specific information. Um, now, not all games do this. Some of the older games on Steam that haven't been quite updated to use this convention, you're still going to have to dig into the ugly Steam and Steam apps and, and Common or, you, or Steam user. Just a mess of that. This is easy. This is much easier. We were looking at Borderlands 2, for example. Okay, well, we're in the users, the username, my documents, my games. Okay, and you can see this is actually the path up here. And we just go into the subdirectory of the game. We're well, on Borderlands 2. Borderlands 2, they happen to put their save data another level down. We're going to Willow Game, and there it is, save data. Your 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 subfolder, your save folder is going to be somewhere in something save. Save, save data, player save, whatever. It's always called out. If there's a if there's a saved game folder that's local, it's going to be in something save. Uh, in this case, this is like some Steam profile thing. Open that up, and boom. There you see we have all the save games. Uh, they're usually numbered. If Like, I only have two players set up on this particular machine. So I have player one and player two. Your most recent save is the one you should be looking at, especially if you're worried about the Steam Cloud not syncing. Um, in Windows 7, you can always, and you can do this in XP as well, just sort on the most recent date. And what you can do is you can just take, the, take these files, and you can copy them, just copy them, and you can move them to your Dropbox folder, or your iDrive, or your Google Drive, you know, or your Microsoft SkyDrive, whatever. Whatever you're using, if you're using something that's kind of like a little, you know, a, a, a cloud storage of your own thing, copy them up there in the folder, and then all you got to do is, when you go to that other machine, you know, and you do what you're going to do, uh, you open up Steam, just copy these into the same location on that machine because these this directory structure is going to be identical. The only thing that's going to be different is the fact that you're going to have newer files than what's in there. Copy your files in. If you want to back up the old ones first, go ahead and do that. Put them somewhere else. But just copy them in there. When you start Steam, you may get a notice that says, hey, your local copies are different from my cloud copies. Which ones do you want? If you know that these are newer than what the cloud is going to have, you go right ahead and say, no, I want the local copies. And you overwrite the cloud data with the local copies. This is the same thing you're going to do if you have to, say, do Origin, EA's Origin, same thing. I've seen the same message where it says, do you want the local data or the cloud data? If you know that stuff you have is newer than what's in the cloud, you go right ahead and do, the do say, local wins. Local is the one I want. So... So just remember, we'll go back up one here. Your, your folders are going to be, I will follow the whole path back, they'll be somewhere in your root drive, and it'll be users, and whatever user you logged in as, my documents, my games. And that's where you're going to find these folders. And, and somewhere in the tree underneath your game folder here, where the game name is, you're going to find a save data folder. Just keep drilling down till you see it. So, and that's all there really is to it. Um, hope it was helpful, and this is how you deal, and this is the best way to deal with the Steam Cloud outage. So, that's it. Thanks for watching.